It's cold. It's a little bit cold this morning. Hey. So, as you probably know, I'm from Washington State, and it's it's a little chilly there sometimes. I mean, I think right now it's in the 30s regularly, and I'm sitting on a napkin. Let's definitely move that. Um, and here in Arizona, it rarely gets into the 30s. I'm living in Arizona now. I think the lows during the day in the 50s on a, on a super, super cold day, and people are freaking out. It's not that bad. But you get used to the heat. You get used to it, and then suddenly you've got a cold day. You're wearing a turtleneck sweater. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling ridiculous. I feel really good today. I feel really good today. I walked into a classroom, and a bunch of little kids all exclaim at the same time, I know you. I know you. You At, at a certain time, you work over here at uh, Parent Pickup. All right. I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. And some of them call out your name. And it's a very, how do you explain that? Working around little kids. I work in a, a K through fourth grade school. Working around little kids is refreshing because they're very positive and they have a lot of curiosity. So that curiosity means they're not going to have a lot of filters. And it, it's all coming from a place of of curiosity, but but it's a very positive outlook on things. They're, they're just happy to explore stuff. And so when they see something familiar or someone, in my case, I walk into a classroom and they're like, ah, it's that guy. <laughs> and there's 20 to 30 little faces all going, hey, that guy. It's, it's very uplifting. It's surprisingly energizing. I don't know. I left that classroom smiling like I just found $50 on the sidewalk or... I don't know. You just feel really good. You feel really good working around children. Working in a school, it's... There's no such thing as depression here. People, we make jokes like, oh, it's Monday or the weekend's on the way. But it's a super uplifting environment. There's no negativity. I don't know. And something about working with little kids is it's very happy. Uh, Maybe maybe someone else can articulate it better down in the comments. But it, I would highly recommend it for anyone struggling with life and can pass a, a background check. I mean, you need good people around kids, but it'll it'll turn your life around. And I, I come from a place where I wasn't looking forward to having kids. I wasn't looking forward to starting a family or having children. The idea of little ones annoyed me. They're loud. They're always asking questions. They sometimes inappropriate. Sometimes they're very rude. They don't understand empathy. They'll just walk up and hit you. And this is what I thought about children. I, I spent a lot of time during undergrad, a lot of time with my nieces. They were three and six, three and five. See, now the ages are all messed up because they're nine and 12 now. <laughs> so you... You spend a lot of time around kids and you get to know that they're, it keeps you useful when you're around them, that they're just learning how to people as they grow. And like I was saying earlier with the classroom of students, it's very uplifting to be around children. It, it makes you younger. I feel more energized when I'm here. I never really get tired. Yeah. I mean, I've got little coffee here, but I was drinking coffee elsewhere and feeling really run down. It's, it's nice to be in an environment like this because your energy levels match where you're at. You are like the, the five people you hang out with most, right? And so if you're constantly around all this energy, you're going to pick up on that energy. So back to my story, coming from a place where I don't really want kids, Right? And then I interact with my nieces a lot more. I get jobs like this where I, I work with children, literally. Um, and I met my wife. I met my wife and she really wanted kids. And so the more time you spend around children and you're around people who want children, you realize they're not that bad. They're fun, really. Like, oh, these these are kind of great. Kids are... they, they uh, they wake up curiosity in yourself. They make you feel more youthful. They bring that youthful energy. Hey, son. Um, 
and they make your life better. And, and really like, what else am I doing with my time? Now I want kids. Okay. Now I'm a married man. We're going to have kids soon. I'm excited for that. I mean, I really am. It's an exciting challenge and there's a lot of things that'll go into it financially, responsibility wise, setting a good example, being a good father. There's, there's so much that goes into having a family and raising children. But as far as, as the, the children part of it goes and having them in, in the house and in my life. And now I want them around because I just do. <laughs> what else am I doing? Like I can play Halo the second time. <laughs> and, uh, what if we want to like go travel? Well, I mean, kids can travel too. They fit in cars. They go on planes with plenty of Tylenol PM because I have respect for my other plane riders. And uh, I, there's there's nothing that I do now that I couldn't do with a kid. There's nothing in the future that I couldn't do because I have a kid. So the idea of not wanting them, every argument against it just goes away. And I actually like them. So what's the problem? Let's make a family. Let's have some kids. And that's basically what it comes down to. I want a family. So make one. <laughs> but do it responsibly. You know, like make right now, the wife and I, we just get into personal stuff. We're paying off student loans. That's where we're at. So we work a lot. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we haven't bought a house yet. Okay. That's fine. You know what a baby needs? It needs to be held. It needs a place it can sleep. It needs some some little onesies that it'll replace every month as it grows. Great. Great. We can afford that. We can do that. We can give it lots of love. And within the next two years, as our student loans are paid off, in the next five, when we're looking into homes, where where we'll be living, that's already up in the air because of career stuff. I work in IT. I'm going to be moving around a bit. It's all going to work out just fine. We just stick to a budget, focus on <laughs> pretty much a Dave Ramsey plan. You get out of debt. You work on your investments. You just you work your butts off. It's pretty simple stuff. I'm, I'm not worried. We've got all our bases covered. Our heads are in the right place. Our hearts are in the right place. It'll be fine. We're reading lots of books. Right now we're reading about relationship stuff. And that's really fun because it, it, it covers so many things you haven't thought of. You know, How does this apply to our relationship? Does this apply? How can we use it to improve ourselves? Awesome. We've got some books lined up for parenting stuff. We're talking to lots of parents. We're friends with people with kids. We, we'll do it right. We'll be patient. <laughs> Update years later. Oh my God, we said we'd be patient. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm saying all this when I don't have kids yet. Totally. But as far as where we're at right now, it's going to happen. It's going to be wonderful. And we'll keep you updated as we go along. I'm going to make some more videos, so stay tuned. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening. Tell me your experience. Did you ever have that feeling like you never want kids? Did that ever change? Has it not changed? Where are you at with that now? Are you one of those people that wanted kids your whole life? Like my wife, <laughs> just like, ah, kids, kids everywhere. Do you work with kids? What's your experience there? Because right now, it's just like a ball of chaos and joy. It's not bad. Also, this lighting, I need to work on this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And if I may